I thought we I thought we defended really well. I thought we um, you know uh, we had we had some moments that a good Quinnipiac team really pushed. I mean the three straight penalty kills in the second was a an obvious critical point of the game. Um, timely scoring again, timely defending. Um, it's nice to win a game with two power play goals and win the penalty kill game. I thought this game, probably more than any other this year, had a little more of a playoff intensity, a feel to it, and very physical. Um, if you agree with that, how good is it to come out with a 4 nothing win against a ranked team in a game like this? What if I don't agree with it? No, then I'm in trouble. <laughs> <laughs> um, you know, our, I think one of the reasons that there's been um, a comfortable feeling of playing with pace is that we try to play the same way all the time. Um, to me on the bench, it felt that all the moments were important, but it always feels like that to me. I think what you're referring to is that right from the first puck drop, you could see both teams treated it every moment was important. And that's maybe a little bit different of the feel. I thought our guys were playoff pace, playoff mindset, and that's something that we want every single night, not just as we approach playoffs. Um, Will brought up the uh, emphasis on starting off early and generating chances early. How important is that, you know, obviously in hockey in general, but especially now when you're getting into those big games every night? It's, it's quite simple. It's a 60-minute game. You want to be on top of your game for all 60 minutes. You don't want to dip your toe in the water and see what type of a game it's going to be. We, we know how good Quinnipiac is. We know what we are capable of. And uh, I thought we came out and were ready to play um, right from the first puck drop. How impressed were you with Savory? Yeah, I thought, I thought again, when, when a goalie gets a shutout, um, they've earned it. Um, but when we also lose, they don't get that all by themselves either. I thought our guys really were desperate. Um, when pucks did get through, saves saw them, um, controlled his rebounds, controlled the pace of the, you know, there wasn't a lot of second chances for them, but they had some really good looks that he had to be sharp on. Uh, the comment on the PK unit, you got put yourself in a, in a possible hole there in the second period with those three penalties, but the guys hung in there in each one of them. And yeah, and again, the power play, Coach Weber really spent a lot of time recently on it, comes through, and this week Coach Mosier really is spending a lot of time on the penalty kill. Tonight was a special teams, you know, victory. Um, the second period, the kills were massive for the kill portion of it, but the ability to wrestle the momentum back, I thought was really important. Um, the next shift after a penalty kill was so important. We got the puck down and deep, and we, we get, went back to work. And then we took another penalty. So that's, it's hard to kickstart that engine again when a good team has got you on your heels because you're killing penalties. So I thought as much as the penalty kills, once you get through those with a kill, we had to get back down and play behind there, you know, down in their end. Yeah, I thought we had good movement to start the power play there, um, you know, just generating looks and then... Uh, I thought we had some good movement, um, Shane, and, Shane and Chase, and then Chase slipped it to me, and I sort of figured that the guy was going to go on one knee, and then I just sort of pump faked around him, and then uh, it was good screen by Patty in front, so it was pretty easy to find a hole there. You guys are generating chances early in that one too, kind of. Is that good to get a leg up, on, especially on a team like Quinnipiac? Yeah, for sure. I think that was uh, probably a big, our biggest emphasis all week was starting with pace to the game. I thought we did that to start, and I thought we did it for 60 minutes, so it was good. That on, on that play, I thought you guys did a good job. You kept the puck in their zone and made them chase you. I don't know if they got a little tired there, but it seemed like they were just scrambling that whole that whole sequence of a minute. Yeah, I think, uh, like I said, just us uh, sort of rotating up top there, We that was our hope that they was going to scramble them up a bit, and I think it did, and uh, we're lucky enough to get one. Similar question we asked your teammate. Did it feel like a playoff atmosphere? I mean, from the outside, it, it felt like that. Was it like that on the ice? Yeah, I think at this time of year, uh, with how close the standings are, you know, it's every game's a playoff mentality. You know, I know for us, you know, we're just we're trying to win every game. We're trying to get a, you know as many points as we possibly can, and uh, you know, I think we did a good job of that tonight. Yeah, you guys have four shutouts now in this season as a team. You know, it hasn't done in a while, and then first time ever shutting out Quinnipiac. Just hearing that, what does it have to say about this team play? How you're playing right now? Uh, I don't know. The first thought, I just think of saves. I think he's been kicking it really well uh, recently, and um, you know, it's just a lot of team defense. You know, I think that you know, I think we've been doing a good job of keeping them to the outside and playing defense in all three zones, and hopefully, hopefully, we can keep that going. Playing it real tight and real simple, and I think we we did our job tonight. 
you walk us through your goal, you got a nice feed from Will, and I mean, you had, you had a whole lot of space to shoot at. Yeah, our power play did great tonight. I think uh, starting from the draws, we were doing all the little things right, and I think uh, moving the puck well and creating good separation, so that was, uh, that was a big time for us. Think about the importance of special teams. You guys get two goals on the on the man advantage, and yet you killed all four of your chances, including three in the second period. Did that kind of take some momentum away from you being shorthanded the first half of the period, mostly? Yeah, special teams are big for us. We've uh, we've been doing a great job this year with it, and uh, I think we're 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 being real positive on the bench, uh, um, shouting guys out, and I think that's big for us. What was kind of going through the mindset coming into this game, knowing it's a big weekend for ECAC points with Quinnipiac at the high seed team? That has to kind of get the juices flowing. Yeah, for sure. Um, last home weekend, and uh, these two points every single night is huge for us. So we're playing it. We're playing it real tight. Uh, Thirty-seven saves tonight, fourth shutout of the season. I mean, obviously, coach talks about that being you know a team thing, but individually, does that feel good for you, getting kind of the numbers to back up your play right now? Yeah, I think, uh, like I always say, you don't play for shutouts, you play for wins. And, and I think that the second half we've been, uh, you know, we've really taken our game to the next level. And, and I think coming home after a couple weekends away and, and coming out in the first period and, and working harder than them was why we were successful. But obviously, like you heard Coach said, a, a shutout's a team shutout all the time. It's not uh, no matter how many saves I have, it's always a team shutout. Like the guys let me see pucks. And but yeah, it feels nice, but uh, we play for wins. So. And come in on the effort uh, and the overall team with the, those <coughs> power plays that Quinnipiac had in the second period. You guys had to bear down defensively, keep that lead, and you were able to do that and go from there. Yeah, we work on uh, penalty kill and power play a lot during the week. It's something that uh, you know wins you hockey games any night, but more and more so in the uh, in the playoffs. And, and I think those kills in the second period where the guys just outworked their pow their power play was uh, huge. And that's why I think we were able to come out in the third and keep the momentum, and then ultimately get rewarded from uh, even those kills in the second period. So. Did you feel that playoff energy out there? I mean, you looked a little, I hate to say a little more feistier than usual. Usually they'll calm and you're shoving up <laughs> a few of the Quinnipiac guys, you're slapping shin pads. Were you feeling it out there? Yeah, I think, uh, you know, as we get closer and closer to the playoffs, no matter who you play, it's going to feel like a playoff atmosphere. So, and obviously, like I said, coming back here and, and the fans are unbelievable. They were, they've been waiting for us to play at home for a couple of weeks. And, and I think that obviously brings the brings the intensity up for anybody and even for them. And I think that's why, uh, you know, the pace was, was really good tonight and, and the intensity was, was there all night. So.